Welcome to Table Talk with Toddy, a podcast for millennials where we bring real life topics on the table for real talk. I'm your host, Natasha Toddy Weston, a lifestyle entrepreneur and three times best selling author. I'm a sucker for business, branding, and self development, but I created this space to escape from the worlds we create for ourselves on the daily. Table Talk with Toddy is the epitome of having the girl next door right in your back pocket. So kick back, pour up, and join me each week for real talk, current events, and powerful conversations about life, business, and all that other ish. everybody it is me Natasha Toddy Weston and welcome back to the Table Talk with Toddy podcast. Today is Thursday April 26, 2018 and that means I'm officially one week from LA so I'm super excited if you're watching this episode on YouTube what up? Um, you are getting to see me barefaced. Y'all can see my setup is just a little bit different today. I have been working and I've been wanting to get this episode recorded. So I was like, what the heck? Let me just prop up one light so y'all could get some good lighting and let me just do what I need to do, right? Y'all know I'm all about urgency and making sure that when I get a word, W-E-R-D, that I bring it to you guys in a timely manner. And so welcome to today's show. Thank you so much for tuning in. If you are an oldie but a goodie, you're the real MVP. Thank you so much for tuning in each week. Thank you so much for sharing. Thank you so much for subscribing. Thank you so much for rating and reviewing the podcast. It means the world to me. Um, Yeah, so let's go ahead and just dive into today's show. This episode is sponsored by none other than Top Spot Productions. Have you ever dreamt of starting your own podcast show? Do you want to create a platform to better communicate with your audience without having to leave the comfort of your home or office? Do you dread the technical part of podcasting? Well, Talk Spot Productions has just the solution for you. Introducing the Launcher Podcast Like a Pro, a done-for-you service where they have eliminated the overwhelm for entrepreneurs, creatives, and leaders who are ready to dive into this podcasting world. Let them handle the logistics and set up your newly raved about show. Literally, all you have to do is provide your show name, a concept, and one to two already recorded episodes which you can record right from your mobile device. So to learn more about this service for aspiring podcasters, you can visit totspotproductions.com forward slash launch your podcast DFY. So, so excited about today's show. We are on episode number 41. It has been a crazy week, y'all. Um, as you guys know, I am prepping for LA, which I will be going to in just one week. For the United States of Women's Summit. And I'm really excited about that. Um, if you guys have followed my journey. Then you know about my life changing experience in 2016. When many of you nominated me as a change maker. And so the White House actually invited me out there. It was invite only. And I got to fly to, fly to LA. Girl. I cannot wait. <laughs> um, but I got to fly to Washington, D.C. This is when the Obamas were in office. And it was really a life-changing experience to be in the room with Michelle Obama, with Kerry Washington, with Oprah. Um, and some life-changing, power mover, moving, shaking women. Like women you dream about um, being sitting in the room with. And so I'm very blessed to have been recognize and had the opportunity to go however this year um, they've opened the summit up to basically the public so you didn't have to be nominated um, and it's going to be in Los Angeles California now let me tell y'all a funny story and then we're going to get into what we're going to talk about today LA has been on my last I want to say four or five vision boards I don't know if I've shared this with you guys, but it is my dream and my desire to relocate to Los Angeles. 
And I'm just putting it out there that it's going to happen for me. Maybe not this year, but definitely in 2019. Um, and so to be going out there, I'm going out there for this summit, but I'm going out there for other reasons as well. Um, I'm taking some huge faith leaps in going out there and, and some of the things I have on my itinerary. So I'm really excited to meet all of you. If you are in the Los Angeles area, if you're going to be out there next week or next weekend, I'll be out there for about a week. Um, hit me up, let me know, and maybe I will try to coordinate some sort of meet and greet. Um, or if I see you at the summit, please don't be shy. Say hello. Like, that's one thing I can't stand, y'all. I And let me share this quick story, and I promise we're going to get into the show. When I went to D.C. in 2016... Um, there was a young, a couple of women who I knew from, you know, Facebook and Instagram and I knew they knew who I was and I recognized their faces. And so, you know, I was all excited and like very just pumped up. They're like, Hey, Hey, Hey. And y'all, they shot me back with the, you know, like the shade. It was kind of like, you know, girl, I only know you online. Don't be one of those people. Like if you see somebody that you recognize, I mean, granted, there are some people who don't look the same online. Y'all, I look the same online as I look in person. But there are some people that, you know, you may not recognize. But if you see somebody in public that you know off of social media, please say hello. Please don't act like you don't see them. And that happened to me a couple of times at the last summit. And so if you see me, if I see you and I recognize you, be prepared for the hello. Okay? You might even get a big hug, a girl what's up. Like, be personable. You don't want to be one of those people. I digress. So, All right. Last week, we talked about, um, we kind of did a summary on Beyonce's Coachella performance. And we talked about, you know... Although we all do have the same 24 hours in a day as Beyonce, we also talked about, okay, well, Beyonce is kind of, a, a, kind of at an advantage because she has a nanny, she has a whole team, she has a staff, um, you know, whatever the case may be. And so, you know, while she may be at an advantage, how can you also practice excellence? How can you raise the bar in whatever it is that you're doing without maybe having Beyonce resources or a Beyonce style team. And so we talked about what to do when you don't have the money and I really emphasized the importance of the value of time, of your time and how much more valuable in some instances time is over money. So if you haven't checked out that episode, I encourage you to go back and check out episode 40 and past episodes, especially if you're new here, go back and listen to some of the, the past shows. And you can do that at natashaweston.com forward slash podcast. Every single episode is there. You can also listen, obviously, on your favorite podcasting platform. So what's on my table this week? I just briefly told y'all that the main thing that I'm excited about is my LA trip. So I'm I'm so excited about that. Like literally from the day I get there, which is Thursday, until the day I leave, which is Monday afternoon, I am book, book, book. Like I've got meetings and lunches and brunches and I'm just so excited to meet some people who I've known for years that I haven't actually gotten to meet in person. So I'm super excited. Like um, y'all gonna hear me talk about it. Be prepared for the Instagram flood. If you're not following me on Instagram, follow me on Instagram at official toddy. Um, it's going down. So that's basically, I guess, the only major thing on my um, table this week besides the launch, the official launch of my first planner, the Launcher Podcast Like a Pro Podcast Planner. As you can see, we changed the cover to matte if you're watching this on YouTube. Um, we changed the cover to matte. It is perfect. And... This this planner is actually kind of like the basis of today's conversation, and I will get into that in just a moment. So that's what's on my table this week. Guys, start sharing with me what's on your table this week. You can do that by tagging me on Facebook. You can do that by tagging me on Instagram, Twitter, at Official Toddy. Use the hashtag Table Talk with Toddy. Let me know what is going on in your world so that I can share with you my solicited advice and opinion. Okay. Yeah. So let's move on into the second portion and the meat of today's show, which is our main topic. I don't have a current event because to be honest, I don't really know what's going on outside of, you know, what I just saw in the news today about Bill Cosby. And I'm not even going to talk about that. And, you know, yeah, I haven't really been keeping up with the news this week. So, yeah. 
that's that. But I do have a lot to say. And like I said, it's based off of um, this podcast planner that I created. Um, so my rec most recent product. And it's based off of a status or a post that I shared on Facebook um, yesterday. I think it was yesterday. I'm going to read it to y'all so y'all have some context. That's the word I'm looking for on today's episode. So here is the post. The post says, y'all got to stop with the excuses. It's 2018 and it doesn't take 365 days to create products anymore. It took me all of seven days or less to fully create my last product with a less than $20 investment. Product quality looks like I took 365 days to create it on a much larger budget. Moral of the story, how bad do you want it? If it's bad enough, you'll get it done regardless of how much money and or time you have access to. When you're trying to walk into a better life, you have to create your way out of the hole you're in, period. If you can't produce at the low level, what do you think will happen at the higher levels? And then at the end, I put, I think I need to do an episode on this. And the response to that post was nuts. So I wanted to make sure that I elaborated on my post and the reason why I actually shared it. So if you're watching this on YouTube, I just held up my most recent product, which is my first planner. And it is called the Launch Your Podcast Like a Pro Podcast Planner. Okay. It is matte. It is roughly 200 and maybe 24 pages in total. Um, and just in a nutshell, it's basically a planner for podcasters to help you plan out your shows, plan out your social media, your notes, um, your goals, your stats. And it is in a nutshell what I created from scratch as I grew this show that you're listening to. And so whenever I go to create a product, I try to use what I already have. And I think that's where we're going to start is creating products, creating services, starting something, anything, an idea, a movement with little investment and in resources, right? So there may be a myth out there, I don't know how true this is, that you need a certain amount of money, you need a certain amount of clout, you need a certain amount of resources, contacts to create a high quality product, service, video, podcast, you name it, whatever you want to fill in the blank there. There's this myth that says you need those things. It's like a prerequisite for greatness. It's like a prerequisite to produce at a really high and pristine level. And y'all, if you're looking at me, listening to me, hear me clearly. That is so far from the truth. The majority of my career, I have had been without. I have had very little money. I've had very little resources. My network has always been, you know, pretty decent. But as far as the things that I actually needed to create products and services, I literally had nothing to start with. But my brain and the little resources I had, I always say all you need really is the internet. So if you have a computer, and I won't even say if you have Wi-Fi because I used to steal Wi-Fi from the McDonald's parking lot, from the neighbor when I lived upstate South Carolina. I won't even say you need Wi-Fi because you can get Wi-Fi. Get it how get it however you need to get it. Okay, just don't you know kill anybody, hurt anybody to do it. It can be done. Um, and so I say all of that to say that if you have an idea. If you have an idea for a product, if you have an idea for an event, if you have an idea to write a book, if you have an idea to start a movement, um, do it. it. It's not it's not like when I first came in the game and there weren't as many resources as we have now. It's so freaking easy. And we psych ourselves up and we let other people who we probably shouldn't be telling ideas to in the first place to psych us up to believe that you need all of these prerequisites to be great. And I am here to tell you that is not the truth. And starting today, I want to challenge you to whatever it is that you've been stalling on, thinking that money, resources, and clout, that you needed it, 
stop. <laughs> All right. And and I want I'm going to keep going back to this planner because this planner is the perfect. It's just one one small fraction of what I've created with little money and little resources. This planner right here I created with a less than $20 investment. And I'm going to use this planner as an example constantly throughout this episode because I think it's the perfect example and it can kind of give you um, context as far as anything that you want to create, especially if it is a tangible product. Digital is even easier in most cases. Now, I got the idea to do this podcast planner a couple months ago. Um, it wasn't even something that I came into 2018 planning to create this year. Um, it was just merely an idea. As I created these episodes, as I continued to step up my podcasting, I realized I had something valuable. I had a system. I had um, a, a blueprint of what behind the scenes of my show looked like. And I knew that, yeah, I could have teach this in a class, and I have that already. Yeah, I could have done a Facebook Live on this. That would have been great. But I had to figure out, okay, what would be, what's something you haven't created yet that people can actually get their hands on, and it'll be more realistic to them? I could have created this as a digital download, but then you still really couldn't write in it. You would have still had to print it out. So by me actually creating a tangible product, I'm making it easier for the consumer, right? Okay, so at the time, I was like, okay, well, I could, you know, take six months and market this and promote it and do this and do that. But I didn't feel the need to do all of that. As I told y'all, I'm going with flow this year. However, let me get to the point. So I said, okay, how long would it take me to create this? Do I have resources in my possession right now to create a planner? And the answer was yes. So I use Canva, and if you guys haven't heard of Canva, Canva is basically a very affordable um, graphic design, um, I guess, website where you sign up and they have templates, which I don't necessarily use. Um, or if I use a template, I basically restructure the whole thing. And you could basically use templates and you could, you know, plug in your brand colors and your fonts and this and that. And you can create your own graphics. And it's super cheap. Um, I pay like $12.95 a month for all of the premium features. And you can create book covers. You can create social media graphics. You can create letters. You can create um, banners, ads. You could literally disguise it a limit. You can create anything in there. I literally create all of my graphics in camera. So I pay $12.95. Y'all do the math. $12.95 a month for Canva. I designed the entire book cover, the front and the back. If I wanted to do a spine, I could as well. I did that so that it cost me any money to actually design my cover because I already paid for Canva a month. $12.95. Y'all write that down. $12.95. All of the pages on the inside of the, of the planner, guess where I designed it? In Canva. So I'm still at $12.95, right? So now all I've got is the time to create it. So I go, I make sure I write out what I want in the planner. I design the pages. Now I upload it into um, the publishing software, which is CreateSpace, right? Okay, so I put it in CreateSpace. And if you guys know, CreateSpace is, is free to use. And I, you know, make sure all of my... Um, you know, margins are correct. I go in, I make my changes, I tweak. In a nutshell, guys, this whole planner cost me $12.95 to create. Do y'all want to know how long it took me to actually push this out? What I did first was I created the cover, did some mock-ups for it, started promoting it. Bam, pre-orders started coming in, right? We're still at $12.95 invested. And there you go, perfect, perfect product that cost me less than $20 invested. So there's a lot of y'all out there who y'all got nothing but time. Y'all been talking about writing a book for the last three years. Y'all been talking about not doing an event for the last 10 years. Y'all been talking about, you know, all of these things. And, and I get calculated, um, you know, making calculated decisions and this and that. But some of y'all so calculated until y'all are calculatedly stuck. I mean, and that's just, it's, you know, I, I'm trying to be, no, I'm not trying to be nice. Let me just quit lying. 
I'm trying to be straight up with y'all because some of y'all are going to sit on y'all ideas and calculate so much until y'all going to miscalculate time, right? Some of these products that y'all have in y'all's head need to be put out now and y'all are sitting on it, waiting on the perfect opportunity. Y'all are sitting on it, waiting on the perfect um, paycheck, the perfect timing, the perfect the, the resources until you go to that event and meet that person. Like, come on. Some of this stuff, like especially books. Books, it don't take no time. So, oh, and I forgot to tell y'all, it took me probably less than seven days from concept, so from my brain, to something that I could hold in my hand, literally less than seven days. And I'm not saying this to brag y'all, but I'm telling y'all that if I can do this, and I've been doing it for years, that you can do it as well. And so, here's the thing, right? You're going to... Get it how you pay or you're going to get it how you learn. And this kind of takes me into the next point. There's some of y'all who y'all want everything y'all see everybody doing. Y'all want booming brands. Y'all want to make six figures. Y'all want to be on the panels with the who's who in your industry. You want to be doing this and that. and But you don't want to learn how to do it yourself. And you don't want to pay nobody either. So it's like, how you planning on getting it? You only going to get it one of those two ways. There's some of us who can learn and teach ourselves and duplicate it and it looks flawless. There's going to be some people who get things or achieve their goals better by paying someone to help them do it. You can't not pick one. Now, when you reach a certain level, you can, you know, there's a mixture of both, right? But there's some of y'all who don't want to, you don't want to pay anybody to, to do it for you or to teach you how to do it. And then you don't want to learn how to do it yourself. And there is, you you can't get anything without one or the other or both, a combination of both. And so, you know, if that's you, I do encourage you to evaluate that and, and figure out if that's why you're not producing at the level that you are at. And so, like I said in my post, it all boils down to how bad do you want it, right? Lack of time, resources, lack of money, lack of you don't know certain people is all, it's just an excuse because I've created some of my most powerful, best-selling products at my lowest level. I'm talking when I had a negative bank account balance. I'm talking about when I didn't know how I was going to pay my rent, when I didn't know nothing, when I had no no clarity, no answers on how I was going to survive life. I always had my brain and time and Wi-Fi. Always. Like I said, rather my cable internet was cut off, you can go to McDonald's and get Wi-Fi. Right? So check the excuses. Figure out if that's what's really hindering you. If you don't have the time to do the research or to learn how to produce at a low level, hire someone to do it. Pay somebody to teach you or pay somebody to do it for you. And it makes all the world a difference. Like you'll be amazed at how much quicker you will grow and prog progress when you pick a side or, or mesh them together. It's so powerful. And so it brings me to my next point. We're flowing with this, huh? If you can't produce at a low level, you can't produce at Beyonce's level. You can't produce at Steve Jobs' level. You can't produce at Obama's level. You can't produce at Kanye's level. Period. If you can't produce from wherever you're sitting at right now and listening to this episode, if you can't produce right here with excellence, you're not going to produce well at a higher level. You may not even get to that higher level. And I'm not saying that to be discouraging, but I'm saying it because it is true. It is true. You'll be amazed at the doors that will open. When you when people realize that you can create something from nothing, that is value. Okay? That's value. That's motivation. That's what people are looking for. They're looking to see that, okay, even though you're not making six figures in your business, even though you don't have the audience you want, or maybe you don't get a bunch of views on your YouTube videos yet, are you still producing quality? Are you, is your production, does your production scream quality? Rather you created it with scratch and scraps. And that's me most of the time. Don't get it twisted, y'all. Everything ain't perfect. But I still make sure that even though things around me aren't perfect, that I'm doing my best to push out perfection or push out, I won't say perfection, quality. 
And that's, I think, what many of you are missing. Today's Table Talk takeaway is create your way out. So I'm talking to the person who is struggling. I'm talking to the person who has big dreams, has great ideas for products, books, journals, mugs, t-shirts, hair products, eyeglasses, a clothing line, whatever it is, I'm talking to that person. If you are in a complete mess, if you don't know what your tomorrow's gonna look like, I'm talking to myself now too, y'all. Create your way out. That's the only way out. Creating your way out is the only way out. If you are a musician, sing your way out. If you are a writer, write your way out. If you are a hairstylist, do hair until you get out. Whatever you are doing, whatever you currently have possession over, whatever it is you know how to do now, create until you get out of the situation that makes you so uncomfortable. And that's why you're listening to this episode. I encourage you to create your way out. Tweet that for me. Share it with your friends on social media, guys. That is today's episode. I hope and I pray that it has encouraged you. I hope that it has put some things into perspective for you. I hope that it has shifted your mindset. I mean, I could go on and on and on about the things I've created with nothing, with what I already had, with the the, the stuff the stuff that y'all already paying for every month. Go and look at what it is and see how you can maximize it. I can't stress that in, enough. It's not about what you have or how much access you have or how much money or resources you have or the connections to the who's who. It's not about that. It's about how do you use what you already have in your hand? How do you use it? And I firmly believe that's what's going to going to get me out of what I'm in. I, I firmly believe that because I constantly push out producing, producing, producing. And what y'all may not think is a low level, but for me is a pretty low level. You know, I'm not nowhere near where I want to be, but I'm still producing quality, quality, quality. No matter how around me looks, outside of the frames, quality. That's what matters. Because y'all keep listening, keep sharing, keep interacting with me on social media. Use the hashtag. I check it all day long. Um, don't forget to subscribe if you are not yet subscribed. If you're watching this episode on YouTube, don't forget to hit the subscribe button and hit the bell so that you don't miss any videos that I share on the channel. Um, don't forget to rate and review. We are now on Apple Podcasts, formerly known as iTunes, Google Play, Stitcher Radio, SoundCloud, iHeartRadio, TuneIn, and the list goes on and on and on and on. So wherever you listen, please rate and review. Share it with someone who you think can, you know, use it for whatever reason. And until the next episode, I will talk to you guys soon.